Hello and welcome to now the final part of Fisher's journey in London for this series. Looking back over the past three videos, it's been amazing to see the response the public has had and the care again that they have for climate change. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we hope you'll be there for the next one. If you haven't seen any of the previous parts, do click here and watch them for yourself. The first one really uh, is what do you think to the UK government's response to climate change? Uh, I think they're doing the best they can in the circumstances. Uh, I think uh, they're setting targets, but there doesn't seem to be a plan behind the target. And therefore the targets, I still feel in the public mind, aren't really very credible because they don't really know where it's actually going. Net zero by 2050, for example. Well, ready five zero. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's a target, but it's not a plan, is it? Yeah. It's an aspiration. Uh, well, it seems to fly in the face of all the available evidence. So what, what other things do you think the government should be doing? What other incentives should they be? You mean policy? They should reinstate the allowance for insulating homes for the first thing, which I think was conservative policy until they abandoned it. Um, but they need to invest in infrastructure. Um, what are they doing about people flying, you know, Need to invest in rail, I would have thought. In terms of your personal emissions, what are you doing in yourselves to lower them at the moment? Uh, I try to do little things, only use electricity when you really need to. Um, I know recycling is not necessarily going to have a big impact on climate change, but try to recycle everything. Um, those are the main things you use. I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I can't see what else. You do your best. Do your best, yeah, yeah. Probably not enough, but we have an elect. We know we're lucky enough to be able to afford an electric car. I understand not everyone else can do that, but we finally got one. Try and recycle where we can. I only take one flight a year, which is not popular with my family, but you know you got to do what you can. Yeah, and in terms of a, a full transition to kind of renewables, do you think a hybrid approach is the best way as a stopgap? So, for example, using a, a heat pump in your home that when the temperature drops below a certain level, the gas would kick in? I, I'm all in favour of practical solutions in, which are affordable. You need to have a credible plan. There's not a credible plan. There hasn't been one. There's never been one. What there has been is a genuine attempt by, by governments uh, to try and reduce emissions. And this country, contrary to what a lot of uh, groups think, has actually reduced its emissions over the last 30 years or so. Actually, the, the record is, is, is good. Um, could it be better? Of course. But there is a big, big problem. And the big problem is China. Uh, uh, China is, um, has no intention, as far as I can see, of doing anything about climate change. It's planning to build more coal-fired power stations. There's not much sign of India doing very much. You have lots of countries with big populations like Indonesia, the Philippines, Mexico, and so on. These countries um, are eager to rapidly industrialize because they need to employ their populations. Now, what is the plan exactly? It's no, it's no good blaming the British government for a lack of a plan to deal with China's uh, refusal to deal with this problem. Let's have it. What a brilliant idea. I'm all in favour. Yeah, let's have it. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, getting everyone else to agree is the, is the issue. Throwing red paint. I would say on, on heat pumps. I'm not an expert on, I'm not an expert on heat pumps, but my understanding is they work best when your house is completely insulated, airtight, completely airtight, really a new house, you know, where they do vacuum tests to make sure there are no drafts. I live in a 200-year-old cottage. I wish it was uh, completely draft-free, but a heat pump in our cottage, I think, would have real problems getting it up to even a bearable heat in midwinter because, yeah. you know, you do your best, you double glaze, but it's more than insulate. I think we preserve too many old houses. I actually really do. I think we should be more ready to pull stuff down that's not being built. Yes, environmentally efficient homes. Because, yeah, we, we, we just need practical solutions. I think insulation, you know, regardless of how you do it, is, is, is very important because that will reduce the need for people to heat their homes, particularly in cold weather. 
Um, so these are the kind of practical things you can do. I mean, as far as I, uh, I know, as far as uh, cars are concerned, I think that the, the government, despite its recent change in policy, is still requiring all car manufacturers in this country to, um, by 2030, half of all cars have got to be. Yeah, so, you know, there are, there are practical things one can do, but they've got to be realistic. Um, so, uh, you know, whether or not they, they will happen, there, there will be progress. Actually, most people do want to see progress on hacking climate change. Most people do. They're not, you know, um, but we need to get rid of some of the rhetoric. The, the, the rhetoric doesn't help, you know, call, calling people murderers and wanting to commit genocide because they're not dealing with, politicians not dealing with climate change to, as a credible action. Credible action, people will definitely, majority of people in this country will definitely follow credible action. Yeah, no question about it. Yeah. I suppose, um, I suppose to, to try and impose or try and get people to shift immediately from one thing to another, there's all kinds of reasons why that's not an easy thing to do. So, yes, I suppose if there are ways that you can take what you call a hybrid approach. Yeah. Because you, you have to take account of human behavior. That if you're told to do something and made to feel guilty about it, I think immediately you put your defenses up. So it's at least as much about finding a way to make it easy for people to do the things they need to do. Now, we've heard their views and we've heard the response, the great response they've had to our questions now we want to know what you think please do let us know in the comments any of your responses to any of the questions that we've asked throughout these videos and thank you for watching